Recording in progress. Hello there viewers and welcome to this video. This is your host the Cassette Master appearing again on planet Earth. Okay, mumbo jumbo. Start eight. One zero zero eight two zero one three. And today we will be presenting a vintage 1970s Panasonic cassette, oops, excuse me, tape recorder. I hope you'll enjoy this feature presentation. The Humble Cassette. And a cassette tape recorder from around 1974. The motor date code said 1973, but it was December. The machine itself was probably made in 1974. Why hello there and welcome. Welcome viewers to this presentation. This is the Panasonic RQ410S cassette tape recorder from the 1970s. This unit is running on the original parts with the original belt or mechanics still good and original capacitors are also, of course, still good. This recording is being made using the built-in condenser microphone of this AC bias unit. Brace yourselves, though, for the use of an external mic. I am now using a Sony F96 dynamic microphone to make the following recording. October the 10th, 2017 on the Panasonic RQ 410S. Yes, that is right. Thank you very much. It ends in an S. It is very classic for a model number to end in an, to end in an S. I've noticed that many model numbers on many machines tend to end in an S. Anyway, it's the Panasonic RQ 410S. Let's see how this comes out. Next will be music recording quality.
Let's show recording in operation with this unit. You'll notice when I go into record mode that the LED comes on solid to show both battery level as well as the fact that it is recording. I prefer a flickering light, but of course they opted for just having a solid light. Boom! Excuse me. Gee, blummin' wheels. The only issue this machine has is that the motor sometimes squeals as it needs to be lubricated. Battery level, as well as the fact that it is recording. I prefer a flickering light, but of course, they opt opted for just having a solid light. This unit is AC bias. I tested to find out the bias with a meter and found that the bias voltage is 12 volts and the biasing frequency is 46 kilohertz. Now let's see if we can determine the kind of erase. If we do our little thing here, defeat the interlock, hold down record and do play, we should be able to see if there's any erase. No erase head comes up, which shows me that the head is a combination record playback and erase. There is no permanent magnet erase on this. But when I was making recordings, I noticed a small amount of background noise that is similar to the DC bias background noise, yet not as strong. That is because this machine is DC erased. In the future, I may make a special video explaining the different types of erasing as well as bias. But in most of my recorder presentations, and probably most common knowledge amongst recorder collectors is there's AC bias and there's DC bias. And then there's permanent magnet erase and electrical erase. But it gets a little bit more than that. There's DC erase, AC erase, and permanent magnet erase. Most of the higher quality, higher end recorders have AC bias and AC erase. Some of the little bit less higher end, yet still good quality recorders have AC bias and DC erase. And some have AC bias and permanent magnet erase. Well, of course, you have ones that are DC bias and DC erase, and some that are DC bias and permanent magnet erase. I'll have to do a few more tests to do some confirmations, but from what it seems in my memory is that a machine that is DC bias with also with direct current erase has a little bit more mag background noise than one that's DC bias and permanent magnet erase. Of course, one that's AC bias and DC erase has a little bit of background noise, but not nearly as much as DC bias. And AC bias and AC erase, of course, has the least amount of background noise whatsoever, with really the only background noise being the natural tape hits you'd get from a completely erased tape. I hope you enjoyed the presentation of the Panasonic RQ410S cassette tape recorder. I apologize for the single channel audio of this part, as I'm using the Sony F96 microphone plugged into the camera.